Hello everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day and a great morning. If this is your morning and you're drinking a cup of coffee, I hope you find this video relaxing. And if you want to get moving and use this as motivation for your ne next task, I hope you can get up and clean along with me. We're going to be hopping straight into some decluttering and organization. I'm just getting started by cleaning off the counters, disinfecting, and just making sure that everything is clean and ready to go. I'm going to be emptying all three of those middle drawers, and I kind of want the counters to be clean before I start. What I sprayed all over the place was a Method antibacterial spray. Um, I like to keep a bottle of this in almost all of my bathrooms, and every once in a while when I'm not... In a rush, I like to spray everything down and use a rag on the countertops, the faucets, and everything. Um, I do usually use Clorox wipes when I'm in a rush or companies coming over, or I just have a lot of bathrooms to clean all at once, but it is nice to kind of spray everything down and do a bit more of a deep clean once in a while. This video is not going to have a lot of cleaning in it. This video is primarily just to take a look at those problem areas in my bathrooms. I've got three drawers in here that have not been working for us and there's a couple drawers in the boys bathroom that I just need to clean and reset for them. The top drawer in this bathroom is shared between me and my husband. There's a lot of things like toothbrushes and cotton pads and um, just stuff that we use quite often. He has all of his shaving stuff in there, his deodorant, razors, everything like that. And it, it, the organization system I was using, um, was working great for us for a while, but he ended up accumulating a lot more shaving tools and shaving stuff. And the bins that they were in were always overflowing or he would end up just kind of throwing the shaving stuff wherever it would fit. And it would end up in the wrong bins. And his shaving stuff has kind of an oily residue. It also has like, it's it kind of yellows and dries pretty hard. So I didn't like that it was mixing with a bunch of other uh, groups like my toothpaste or um, cotton pads. I just didn't like the oily film that was being left behind. Here I'm just opening an Amazon package. I ordered some clear stackable organizers for drawers. The reason I went with stackable is because I wanted to use any of the leftovers for the bottom two drawers in this uh, bathroom. I have pretty deep drawers and so I wanted a way to stack some items and put things that I don't use as often underneath. I actually ordered two sets of these and I wasn't sure if I was going to need the second set and I did end up opening it at after all. Um, I was planning on using it and combining it with some of the other sets I had already bought from Amazon. This is the third time I've bought this set and the third drawer on the bottom has a bunch of these organizers already in it. These white organizers that I have already in this drawer, those are actually from Target. They are super cheap, they're bendable, it's easy to kind of use them to configure different spaces because you can kind of just shove them in place. It doesn't have to be perfect and they'll kind of bend and figure out a way to fit. So I definitely love them. I actually have them all over my house, but today I just wanted smaller um, bins so that I could really organize and have a lot of different categories going. I don't love wasting things, so these white bins will actually be used later in this video. You'll see where I end up putting them in my boys' room. And then actually a couple of the bins will go into my office because I was missing a few white bins for my office drawers. Throughout this whole entire video, you are going to be seeing me kind of kind of fuss a little bit. I move containers around, I try to figure out what works best, and that's just part of organizing. I could have skipped over and left out all the parts with trial and error, but I'm always going to be honest with you guys and show you what it takes to actually organize a space, at least for me. I sometimes it just takes me a little while sometimes I try things I don't like it I move it around and usually towards the end of the video I you can see me start to get kind of a rhythm going and it all starts to fit and work great together so I will never hide from you the struggle of organizing and even in this video there is a time where I empty the bottom two drawers and I do get a little overwhelmed and there's points where I'm just standing there trying to figure out what to do. 
Like I said, this is my husband's drawer primarily. The four containers on the top that are already filled, of course, we share for the most part. But all I keep in here is the toothpaste and my toothbrush. Everything else in here is mostly just my husband's. The reason I showed you the toothpaste and me kind of squeezing it, squirting some out onto my finger and then wiping it clean was because that little blue thing on the top of our toothpaste was actually a pack that we got on Amazon and it works amazing. I don't know if you ever struggle with finding your toothpaste cap or remembering to put it back on or maybe one person in the relationship puts it back on and the other never puts it back on. So if it's something that you or someone you share a bathroom with struggles with or your kids struggle with, this pack is super cheap. It was only a few bucks and it fits perfectly over the top of your toothpaste. I've never had mold issues and the toothpaste stays clean longer. You can just wipe it on your toothbrush and it closes back up over it. There's no crusty hard toothpaste because it dries out. Another fun gadget while we're on the topic of toothpaste is actually that metal thing that I slid behind the drawers. It actually is a super cool tool. We use it whenever the toothpaste or any bottle is kind of running low and you really don't want to waste the last little bit in there. And so what you do is when your toothpaste is running low, you just put the end into that metal thing. There's a crack in the metal thing and then you twist the side and it rolls it up really tight and squeezes all of the toothpaste up towards the top so it's super easy for you know even our kids to use and none of our toothpaste goes to waste this way
As you can see, I emptied out both of those big drawers, and here I am just kind of figuring out what to throw away, what to declutter. I end up going to get a cardboard box and bringing it in here, and anything that I could pass along to maybe my sisters or, you know, another friend, I throw in the box, and then everything else that I just feel is too worn and gross, I just throw in the trash that's right next to the drawers there. So I'm really trying to take a look at everything and make sure that everything I'm keeping is something that I actually use. Like I said, I'm definitely going to be struggling a lot in this part of the video. I didn't struggle as much in the top drawer, but I knew these two drawers were causing me some problems and I really just wanted to figure out a way where I could separate the hair stuff for the most part from this upper drawer. And I wanted to do that because I didn't like how much debris and hair was getting into all of my makeup and my bottles. And I just kind of wanted simple stuff that I use daily in that top drawer and then everything extra in the bottom drawer. You might wonder why I need to have layers of these bins in the bottom drawer and I, I truly don't. I don't use all of these items daily. I love doing hair. It's one of my favorite things to do. And when I was younger, I would practice on all my siblings. And then I also nannied some girls and I just love doing their hair. I do have two boys and so I don't get to do hair that often. But every once in a while, I do love to do my friend's hair or still my sister's hair for events. And so a lot of the items that I'm keeping in the lower level of the bottom drawer are actually for fancy updos or weddings or things like that so I recently did one of my friends hair for her wedding and it was so much fun and I used a lot of these items that normally I just wouldn't grab for so it's one of those things where yes I could declutter them but I do end up using them sometimes for those special events and I don't want to have to go buy um, fancy hair pieces and things like that just when I need them. The organizers that all of my makeup is in, they're like these clear organizers. I also got those on Amazon and honestly I do love them. They work great. If you are the type of person who has a ton of makeup and loves a, a variety, I would totally buy these for your drawers. I just don't own enough makeup, enough makeup brushes to fill the space. And if you don't fill the space properly, everything kind of is angled and falls and you, you have a hard time digging through them to get what you need. So if you have a lot more makeup than I do and can actually fill all of the compartments, then I think those organizers would actually work out better than the ones I'm switching everything over to. I will make sure to link not only these little stackable organizers, but also the ones that my makeup are in. Just because, like I said, I do feel like most people have a lot more makeup than I do. I have just a handful of brushes. I don't even have any foundation or concealer or anything like that. And I usually have about one item of each category. And so if you are, you know, into makeup or even just has a normal amount of makeup compared to me, I do feel like those organizers would be amazing in drawers. The reason I don't have a ton of makeup or um, any of the face creams, foundations, or anything like that is because I actually have very sensitive skin and even the eye makeup will make my eyes itch and burn after a while. So I struggle to even put on a small amount of makeup every day. I save getting ready and using makeup for some special days or maybe the weekend. And if you guys have any recommendations for some more natural makeup products that you guys love, please let let me know in the comments because I would love to try out some brands and see if my skin reacts to them or I can wear them for a long period of time. I do love makeup. I love watching makeup tutorials, but I find that my skin does tend to burn and my eyes burn. So I, I haven't had a chance to really, you know, get into makeup and I do love the Burt's Bees brand. Their mascara works pretty well for me, but I do find that a lot of the natural makeups that I've tried don't stay on for very long and they get a little flaky. So like I said, if you guys have the same problem or have your favorite brands that work great for you, please let me know because I would love to try out something new.
at this point in the video, you can definitely tell I kind of started hitting my rhythm. I got overwhelmed for a little while there, but now I'm kind of getting back into it. And I, I think at this point I had decided finally on what I wanted in the top drawer and the bottom drawer. So you'll still see me struggle a little bit, but it does get a little bit faster here. So that's kind of nice for you guys if you guys were starting to get bored at all. It's nice watching this back over to see that box on the ground kind of getting filled up. It's nice to see things that you've known for a long time that you haven't used or won't use. And it's just nice to see that you finally made the decision to go through stuff and get rid of it. It makes your life so much easier. I am slowly going through my whole entire house and decluttering and organizing drawers and cabinets. So if you guys want to see me declutter my house and organize before the holidays, please come back, hit that subscribe button and come back for the next video. see me give you a little overview of the drawers and what they look like. There are lots of empty containers which makes me very happy so as I find cute hair pieces that would look great in updos and fancy hairstyles I'll add them to the collection and from now on I'll definitely only add things that I truly use and I think I'll use in some friends hair. That drawer there was my everyday items like skincare, hair brushes, and some of my makeup and so Everything was looking pretty good and here I am going into my boys bathroom. This is on my upper floor and these three drawers were mostly empty and were in need of some organization. So I'm just going in and wiping them down and putting these old white containers that I washed out from my bathroom in here. So my kids are definitely still learning how to squeeze toothpaste out of a toothpaste bottle so that's why you're gonna see a lot of toothpaste in their old containers and me having to wipe down the face of all of these drawers because toothpaste just drips down the cabinets and gets absolutely everywhere in this bathroom they are getting better and i'm happy that they want to do it themselves but you know anytime you teach your kids something new or one more way they can become more independent it just usually is more work for the parents until they figure out how to do it the right way so that's kind of the way for everything with kids it's easier for you to do everything 
But if you want to lessen your load in the future and raise independent kids, you have to let them have that independence and that chance to learn new things, even though it means you have twice the workload during that period of time. So once they get the hang of toothpaste and brushing their own teeth and cleaning up after themselves, hopefully my load will be lessened. But until then, you're kind of doing twice the amount of cleaning and work trying to teach your kids how to do things all by themselves. Their drawers are still pretty empty because they're boys. They don't have a lot of products. They don't even have deodorant yet because they're still young. So I'm sure these drawers and these organizers will fill up as they age. But right now, they're just pretty empty still. So, But it's nice that we have room to grow as a family. If you made it this far in the video and you stuck it out till the end, I just want to say thank you. I'm so thankful that you are here and you watched this video and you clicked on it. If you'd like to join my YouTube family, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and like this video. Maybe leave me in a, a comment and I will definitely get back to you if you have any questions for me. But I'm just giving you an overview of these last few drawers and I hope you have a great rest of your day.